is laughing right now, which is making it really hard to intro the vlog. But for today's vlog, we're testing the pH of water in Hawaii. Now, I've seen this on Facebook before where a lady in the mainland, she was actually testing the water of like Dasani and Aquafina and some of these other name brand waters. And it was crazy to see that certain waters were more acidic than other waters. So I figured we'd go to the store today, buy a bunch of Hawaiian waters, including those shitty ones, and test the waters to see who's got the most acidic water and who's got the most alkaline water. Now you may be wondering why we even care about the pH of the water. It's because acidic water is known to cause, or acidic food products in general are known to cause cancer and things that are more alkaline are known to do the opposite effect, which is to fend off the cancer or prevent the cancer from happening. So that is why we care on which, who's got the best water here in Hawaii. Let's go figure that out right now. Let's test the pH of some vodka too. <laughs> we better figure out what that is too. We're headed back to the house to test the pH on all these bugs. Maybe because I'm looking at the relevant way to not affect. Stopping at 7 Eleven, see if I can get a couple more water. Okay, I got the kitchen table up against the door and I figured that'd be the best backdrop because it's white. So I'm gonna set up all the water on here. We got the line of waters all set up and I ordered this kit right here in the mail, which is a pH testing kit. And pretty much you can order this like online. They're like five to 10 bucks, depending on where you find them. And all you do is you drip these little drops inside the water and it'll tell you, here's the scale. So you'll be able to match it to the colors and you'll be able to tell. So if it's red or yellow, it's really acidic. Neutrals around a green color. Anything that's really like blue to purple will be alkaline. So let's get started. Here we go. Kauai, great water, pass the test. That looks at least neutral, if not headed towards alkaline. Aquafina, trash water, straight acids like orange, dark orange. Kona Deep, also acidic water. It's like yellow. Hawaiian Rain, also bad, acidic water. Hawaiian Isles, also bad. Kind of shocked how many bad waters there are in Hawaii. Hawaiian Springs, killing it. Super good water. Their water looks really neutral, if not headed more towards alkaline. Aloha Y, also bad. Now, here's P. Diddy's water. P. Diddy's water passes. Now, his water is definitely alkaline. You can see it's like Look at the color difference. The color is like dark purple. And then this water, I've seen this water in the market in Hawaii forever. It's Hawaii water, horrible, straight acid water. Hawaii volcanic water, great. Dasani, also trash water. I mean, what would you expect from Coca-Cola? This water right here, Essentia, is probably by far the best water you can buy in the market right now. It's like dark, dark purple. They claim 9.5, but it looks like 10 plus. Now there's this water from 7-Eleven, Island Pure, also trash. Shame on 7-Eleven, that's like almost orange, it's so bad. Crystal Geyser actually did good. I thought they were gonna do bad, and they got green. Look, it's actually good, neutral. 
And last but not least, the tap water here in Wailua, which actually did a lot better than most of the Hawaiian waters. Out of the nine Hawaii waters I bought, only three Hawaii waters were actually even neutral. So it's good to know before you buy, you know, if you're buying all those other waters in the back, they're acidic. And if you're buying any of these, it's Kauai water, Hawaiian Springs water, Hawaii Volcanic. Those are like the best waters on the market that I could find from Hawaii. So know before you buy, don't drink acidic water. Drink something either neutral or something alkaline like this. This would actually be the best water you could drink right here. This would be the lineup of waters that you don't want to drink in Hawaii. Basically all acid water. That concludes the pH testing water vlog. And I basically just wanted to do that so that people know what they're buying before they drink it. And try to buy something that's either neutral or alkaline so you're not drinking acid water. I'm going to run outside, launch the drone, sunset time. I'm going to see if I can get a couple clips before dark.